today's my birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> today is my birthday. Mo wrote me a birthday card. In the card he wrote me, Happy 34th birthday. You are now 408 months old. Congratulations! And like 12,000, I don't know, 200 days old. We have Nalia now, she's 11 months old. And I guess that's where your inspiration came from, right? Yeah. Like, how old is so my wife Nalia is in soon, months? Nalia is going to be soon 12 months old. Yeah. It's one year. And he's 34 years old. So, like, okay, how many months is any? Before, that's... Is this my fault? Happy my brother. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Nate. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you, Nate. Happy I birthday. love you. We are going to have a little date afternoon now in the city. We're going to go for lunch. Tomorrow, we are going to Barcelona. And we were actually in Frankfurt last weekend to see Mo's family. And they live in Koblenz. And it's beautiful there. I'm going to put in some pictures here from our time there. But we went to Mosul as well, right? Mosul and Binning. And there's these beautiful big vineyards there. A lot of the Riesling wine is actually produced there. It was just stunning. And that trip, we actually drove this car there and it was a drive, you guys. It was like five and a half hours in the car with a very active little baby. Uh, but tomorrow we're flying, so it's not gonna be that bad. Two hour flight. Oh, also when I came back from the gym this morning, I went to a body pump, which felt amazing. I walked through the door and there were these beautiful pictures that Mo had put up, like all throughout the apartment with little notes. That kind of stuff means everything to me. Very sweet. Candy. Should we unpack the presents from from Opa from Annie's Papa? That's for you. Open it. Wow! What is in there? Look at this. Open it. Hey. Ah. That's yeah. for you. Hello. Yeah. Oh. That's yours. Yeah. Did you open this too? <gasps> wow! Wow! Shape sorter. Huh? And what is in here? You open this too? What is in there? <gasps> yeah! Are you excited? Wow! It's all for you! It's all for you, my love. We are walking around in Les Ramblas. Nalia just fell asleep in the stroller. When we travel, stroller naps or having her in the carrier for her naps is a really great thing. And then of course like timing it so that you can utilize nap time for like a stroll or something like that or a car ride. We are walking around now and I've been thinking how nice it is that we're here with Nalia. We have so many memories here in Barcelona. We've spent so much time here. My family lives here, my dad, so we always had like a place to stay here and it's not too far from where we live. And now this time we've come with Nalia, which is really quite special. Whenever we are here, I always say to Annie, it feels like being home. And Barcelona is such a beautiful, cute city. 
I is, yeah. The AC, by everything. the way, from the stores. We just <laughs> we're walking, walking very past close. The ACs. It's so nice. I'm wearing the same dress that I wore on my birthday a couple days ago when I think when I started this vlog. And it's perfect for hot weather. It's a little dress from H&M. Super lightweight, really like flowy, airy, and just, yeah, perfect. sat down here at this place called Plaza de Ville. The Plaza de Ville? Plaza de Relais? Rail? Anyway, it's a beautiful place. We come here often. We ordered a pasta. We're gonna chill. So Nelly so. is gonna wake up in about 10 minutes and we're hoping that she will look around, see that we're still here and go back to sleep. Usually when she naps outside, she just sleeps for one sleep cycle, but she should normally sleep longer. So that's what I'm hoping will happen. Mo and I, we often talk about like, oh, do you remember when we stayed at this hotel or when we went there? And then I think about all the times that we've had conversations like this that we're never gonna remember again or really think about again, except if, you know, we record them. And of course we don't record everything, but it is really special to have memories like this, especially when Nelly is so little. And just also like, we were together for six years, almost, yeah, seven years um, before we had Nelly too. So we have so many fun memories from then. And she can also look back on all of this content when she's older and see like her parents and how much we love her and all the experiences that she's already had. Also she can see out of what she was created, you know, or which energy, the experience, all the mm -hmm. memories that we made and out of this we created her, you know. Knowing where you come from and your history a little bit, I think that's special. I love looking back at photos from my childhood and like that's just pictures so imagine having like full on videos, it's really really cool. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? back home I just made myself green juice in the blender which is my favorite way of making green juice so much quicker less cleanup you get the benefits of the fiber as well you can add coconut water or regular water it feels the same as a green juice minus all of the cleanup 
of all the little juicing parts. So in a green juice like this, I feel like it's like a multivitamin for the body. So I've put celery, cucumber, spinach, cilantro, ginger, lemon, and frozen pineapple as well. Sometimes I do frozen mango to make it a little sweet. Some ice and water, blend it all up, and it tastes amazing. And as you guys also saw, I've pre-packed some Ziploc bags that I'm gonna use for the next few days when I wanna make a green juice. I think that's a good thing to do in general when you get fresh produce to really make sure that you use the produce, especially like spinach and celery and things like that. They just tend to go bad if you don't use them up pretty quick. So already pre-measuring it, just cutting it up, putting it in a little bag and freezing it and it's good to go for when you need it. I think that's a good tip if you are a busy person like me. I love traveling and seeing different places, like getting out of my comfort zone and just switching things up. I think that is fun and important, but I love coming home, like that reset, unpacking, doing laundry, grocery shopping, meal prepping, cooking healthy things again. I don't know, that like reset really makes me happy too. And that's a lot of what I've been doing um, since we got back. When you have a baby, it's so nice to come back to your space because you have everything. It's like, you know, she has her room and everything is already set up. Extra clothes, diapers, like all your food things, it's like all there. But then again, I have been thinking a lot about our trips and it was so much fun. So, you know, they're complete opposite things, but I think there's beauty in both. And yeah, I turned 34 years old a few days ago. So crazy. I used to think when I was younger, when you turn 30 or you're in your 30s, that's so old or you're so like mature and you know, you have your whole life together by that age. A few of those aspects are true. Like I am a mom now, I'm married and I have, you know, our home and all of that, but I don't feel old at all. Like I still feel like I'm in my 20s. Of course, physically, you start to notice some changes, but like how I feel on the inside, my wellness, my passions, like how I feel about life, feeling good within my body, all of that is still really great and still like when I was younger. I wanna say this to those who are also younger, or maybe if you're older, you can also relate to this. Age is really a number. I think aging is such a beautiful thing, and with every year, you truly gain so much more confidence, purpose, understanding, wisdom. I don't know, I feel like every year, I just, and more in awe of life. And also since becoming a mom, like my 33rd year, I became a mom. That in itself, seeing what you're capable of, seeing how little sleep you can function on, seeing how big your heart grows. Yeah, like how far you can extend yourself and still, you know, manage to do other things. Like I think moms are just absolutely incredible. Yeah, I would definitely say that is the highlight of my 33rd year of life. And Nalia's birthday is actually coming up soon too. It's in two weeks. She's gonna be one. I'm sure a lot of things are also gonna change with Nalia too. She's such a fun and active and curious, such a cool baby. And I'm sure when she's gonna be in her toddler years, it's gonna be even more. But yeah, it's just incredible seeing her grow and I'm sure she's gonna start walking like any day now. She's babbling so much, she's even saying some words and it's, yeah, it's just the most special thing. She definitely keeps me on my toes. She keeps me young, I gotta stay energetic, I gotta take care of myself and definitely, you know, starting working out again. I've mentioned that in my last few videos, doing things like meal prepping, having my green juices, just really taking care of myself. That is what I want to continue doing and that's my approach to aging healthfully and gracefully, moving my body, taking care of myself, like sleeping when I can and loving, like loving really, really big. I think that is such an important part of wellness too and your overall happiness and Nalia definitely, she does that to me. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want the recipe for the green juice, I'll have it down below along with the link to my blender. Also any clothing items, the dress that I wore, shoes, my sunglasses and all of those things will be linked for you down below. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye guys!